Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday afternoon. It's about 2.16 on Friday. Uh, by the way, happy International Coffee Day. It's a great day. If you are coffee drinkers, this is it. This is our holidays here. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday, by the way. So this afternoon, we are going to play with Flare. Okay, so this is the Flare Neo. And I modify it to pretty much Flare or Classic model. So I'm going to be using the, the bottomless pore filter. So this is a non-pressurized basket. If you buy the regular Flare Neo, they give you, it's called flow control. The same as a pressurized. So this is non-pressurized. You know what, I think I'm going to use the spouted. Okay, I'm going to be using the spouted option. Because, so Flare, so this filter baskets, it's not like Flare Pro, okay? It's not like Flare Pro 2. Uh, whenever I trying to use this, I, the coffee is coming out from the side edge. It's not clean shot, so I guess I prefer to use the spout, okay? Even though this is a non-pressurized basket, but you're gonna get a pretty good shot there. Okay, and then let's see here. I'm just gonna, uh, the key to making a great coffee with the Flare is the thermal control. Just make sure heat up all your components so let's get going so i'm gonna yeah yeah let's get going here i'm just gonna flip the camera around hold on flip it. there we go i'm using my uh fellow stack okay i'm gonna heat up everything right now at once okay i'm just gonna heat up my filter baskets and also water chamber as well okay just like so heat it up but well, meantime I'm gonna be using a uh, Guatemala coffee okay we are uh, we roasted about 10 days ago about two weeks ago so we should be good I'm gonna be dosing out 15 gram Again, I'm using uh, about 15 gram here. Okay. Uh, let's do the puck prep. Okay, so I think everything is nice and again, it's not it's not hot as I like to be, but you know what? I'm just gonna do some more heat up. I mean, just do the best you can, okay? The key is you got to really make them hot as possible. I'm just going to use my funnel. Do a little bit of WDT here, okay? Just make sure everything is nice and flat. Uh, I'm using the Crema uh, 2-in-1 tools. Okay, just like so. Nice and clean edge. Just the top of that. Comes the workflow is pretty easy, I have to say. I got 15 in and then I'm trying to shoot for around 30 gram out, okay. Since we are going to do some milk based drinks, so you know what? Between like 30 and 35. If you have the scale, use the scale. Lock it in there. I'm just going to put the plunge on the top. Okay, let's pull the shot. 
the comes to using flare, it's not about, you know, like between 25 and 30 second time range. This is completely different, okay? Since we have the total control of your shot time, so what I like to do is I like to start with like, you know, low, well, here we go. Do the pre-infusion, okay? Maybe one or two bars. Just go nice and easy. It's nice and easy. Whenever I see the liquid coming out, I'm just go up to espresso zone right there. They're starting to go down a little bit, just easy. Trying to shift for 30 gram. Bingo. Okay, just like that. So now we have this beautiful shot of espresso. Okay. And then I think here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cheat, okay? I'm gonna be I'm gonna use my Bravo Booster Pro for the steaming, for the milk. And then I usually use my uh uh, let's I forgot the name of that thing. Hold on. I'm just gonna steam some milk here. So much easier. Okay. This is one great thing about the having a semi-automatic machine. If you guys are into milk, uh, milk-based drink, this is a pretty good option. Okay, milk is done. Make sure wet paper towel wipe and clean. Okay. All right. So let's do some little bit of latte art. Here we go. Okay. Looks pretty good. Yeah, what do you guys think? It's not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Pretty good. I think that's the best one so far with my flare. Okay, playing with the flare. You know what? Let's try this. Let's try the coffee. And then let's talk about this okay hold on a second here well, then let me flip the camera over if you're just joining us for the first time welcome to our the friday edition okay happy friday and also happy international coffee day guys cheers Mm. You know what? I do enjoy Guatemala coffee uh, for the milk based drink. They're fan very chocolatey and very nutty. They're fantastic. They're a great, great uh, uh, coffee there. Okay, they're fan By the way, if you haven't pressed like on this video, make sure to press like. And uh, if you are thinking about getting flair, oh goodness. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think I start with. Flare Pro 2 because uh, comes to okay so Flare Neo and the classic using the same baskets okay it's not the best but with the uh, Flare Pro the Pro comes with the fantastic baskets and I know uh, I know some of you already have the Pro I think Linda has Pro 2 I think uh, Justin has a Pro 2 as well so I mean they are really nice okay you get a really nice shot every time but with a Flare, a Classic, and Neo, you have to really properly dial it in. So that's a little bit more uh, 
more tricky, let's put it that way. But if you guys like the milk-based drink, uh, uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, obviously f the Flair, I think, okay, Flair makes, personally, they uh, make the best espresso in that class, okay? Because I know they have a different machines out there, like, hold on, hopefully you guys can see it. I have like Nano Presso over there, or the Star Resso, that's kind of like manual espresso machine. So the Wakako makes pretty amazing the outdoor products, but man, uh, the Wakako also came up with, uh, it's called Pico Presso, okay, 58 millimeters. So you know what? I think I might showcase that next week, okay? I do have at home right now. So Pico Presso, let's do the live review next week. Not the review, but you know, let's do, you know, uh, check it out next week, okay? Let's see. Uh, by the way, if you have uh, if you have any questions or comment, let me know. Okay, I have my uh, computer set up here, so I see all, all your questions right now. Okay, let's see, Cami man, I'm the what grinder, what grind size did you use? So I'm using the DF64. So I'm using around what number what nine nine or so on DF64. Again, that's something you have to play with. Okay, so that's something you have to play with. So again, just, just play with your uh, grinder, okay? Because, I mean, you wanna get a good espresso to make good coffee, so. Came here also, rock, uh, okay, rock hand grinder. So, hold on a second. So I have a rock hand grinder here, okay? Uh, with the one of I use the rock for espresso, uh, I go the finest, okay? Because I still struggle with it. So whenever I go the finest, uh, you get a pretty, pretty uh, decent result. So you know what? Maybe next week let's play, put, play with a rock, okay? So this is also the great manual machine as well, okay? So this is pretty good. Okay, so Linda asked. What number you try for flay on mid right hand grinder? I think I was using like 20. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I mean, I was using like uh, 20 or so, okay, Linda? But yeah, but it's been a while. I gotta try it out though. Okay, Tracy mentioned grinder size different from each bag of coffee beans. Again, whenever you got a fresh coffee beans, the grinder size may change the daily, so you gotta really uh, play with, okay? You, uh, you gotta play with. Okay, we got, uh, let's see, a harsh mansion. Where can I find the blue cup? So this is cup from Acme, okay? If you are living in Canada, uh, make sure to check out the eight ounce coffee supply, eight ounce coffee. Uh, they sell these Acme cups, they're fantastic. Uh, so this is really good. Uh, this, so this is the Acme. I do have a Rob Rami cups as well. Uh, Rob Rami cups similar to this. Okay, yellow, I mean they have different colors as well. Similar design. So they are really good. They are great. Let's see here. Oh, again, it comes to flare workflow. It's not bad. Once you get it down, you can make a great cup of coffee in like less than five minutes. Okay, but it, one downside is the cleanup. I'm not a big, yeah, cleanup is, I don't want to say tricky, but it gets a little messy because, hold on, let me get the knockbox ready. Once you remove the, this from the bottom, just make sure you go over sink or knockbox. And the, it gets really messy. As you can see from there, yeah, it gets messy. You should just knock it out, okay? But I mean, it does, you know, it works, okay? But I think the Flare Pro 2 is a lot easier than this one. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Justin is watching, so yeah. I, I think the Flare Pro 2 is a lot easier than a Neo or Classic. Because the Flare Pro 2, the puck screen is top of the sitting top of the grinds, coffee grinds. This is not okay. The, this one just sit in the top of the filter basket, uh, portafilter, like so. So yeah, say so it's whenever you put the hot water in a coffee, get 
you know, expand it. So yeah, it gets messy. Okay, let's harsh match white. White technical flare give better coffee. Okay, yeah, I mean, be, uh, because, I mean, you can apply fantastic pressure with flare, okay? I mean, you can get really nice leverage compared to if you are using the other type of uh, manual machine. It's different. I th yeah, I, th I think that, I mean, de designed pretty well. And uh, if you guys are looking for something smaller form factor, if you don't like the, uh, like, big semi-automatic machine like, you know, Express or Pro, even Lapaboni, okay. So Lapaboni might be a good option. That is uh, built in 80. I think, I believe that's built in 90s. It's about 30 years old. Yeah, that works really good. Let's see here. I think we are pretty good this afternoon, okay. It's about 29 of you watching. Make sure you press like, guys, okay. But is there anybody planning on watching some good Netflix show this weekend? If you haven't, okay. I highly encourage you to watch. Hold on, let me flip around. So I've been watching uh, this. It's called the TV show from Korea, uh, Squid Game. Squid. It's called Ojingo Game. Okay, uh, this is fantastic. If you haven't watching this uh, show in Netflix, make sure to check it out. I mean, that is really, really fun show. I mean, they are playing the game that, you know, um, all my, my childhood games. So anyway, yeah, you, if you haven't seen that, uh, it's really good, okay? Uh, can you say too scary? I, I mean, I, I think that's great. You know what? I, I'm telling you, Korean people knows how to make fantastic horror movie, okay? Justin talking about the Hunger Game, eh, somewhat, yeah, very close. So I've been really enjoying it for the last couple of days. I think, uh, fact is, I finished that one last night. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's great. Okay, the I think that is really really fun. Do not watch it with your kids though. Okay, if you have a young kids at home, though. Okay, hold on a second here. Okay, and uh, give me the classic. Okay, any anyway. So maybe you know what? Maybe next Friday, maybe I recommend another show for you guys because, so. The Asian death, it was said at the end. Y you know what? Okay, I mean, that's what, you know, a lot of Korean show likes, okay? But this show is completely different, though. I mean, if you guys are into melodrama, definitely watch Korean shows. Korean drama, they're awesome. But yeah, the ending was, I'm not gonna spoil you guys, but yeah, ending was really interesting, okay? The Linda say NCIS, okay, okay, that's good. Okay, let's see here. Better with the subtitle versus dubbing option. Okay. I mean, it is really tricky, okay, uh, for the, you know, English dub. Yeah. Let's see. Justin say something. Uh, but Justin is asking me about the uh, mirror coffee. It's really good, okay. Uh, so that's my second time trying it, but I think uh, let's dial in next week. Uh, let's see here. Dogman say the sign fear is now on Netflix today. Okay. I do enjoy Seinfeld. That's awesome. You got cook for coffee. My wife loves all Korean. Okay, excellent. Anyway, so if you guys are looking for some interesting shows this weekend, try that show, The Squid Game. That's awesome. It's okay. It's not for everybody. Okay, we got the Matsu from Poland this afternoon. Let's see here. We have some uh, friends from all over the country here right now. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's about it's about two thirty-five. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna hang up. No, I'm gonna stop the live streaming. And but uh, we're gonna jump into Instagram. Okay. We're gonna uh, jump into Instagram and then uh, show us your copy bar setup, or you can just join the chat. Okay. Maybe a lot of fun there. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna see you guys in about a couple of seconds. Okay, flip to uh, flip me. Uh, yeah, flip your phone to the, your Instagram. Okay.